I just got done with my workout and now I am driving home. Um, really quickly, I just wanted to get, fill you guys in. Um, I do workouts at the rink because there's a CrossFit gym and that's where my team does all of our team workouts, which is really nice. So in the preseason, me and some of my teammates like to go and do their workouts just because it's super convenient and we're already familiar with it and a lot of us live off campus and this is closer than campus um, going to the gym and with COVID our campus gym is closed so now it's really convenient for us it's so humid out I don't know if you can tell but I'm like drenched so I'm gonna um, I'm almost home so I'm gonna go home and shower and get ready for the day um, I'll fill you guys in more when I get there. I just got out of the shower, so now I'm gonna go make some breakfast, but look how gloomy it is outside. It's depressing, and I don't know what's on my window, sorry. Okay, I know this is just tiny, but if you've ever done this lifting, you know how much it stings, okay? <laughs> Okay, here is the final product. Um, I'm just gonna eat these and I'm going to read my biochemistry book and look over the lectures before, or the, I'm gonna look over the PowerPoint before lecture today. Okay, so I am done looking over my biochemistry for lecture today, which is in about an hour. So now I'm going to start studying for the MCAT. I think I'm going to do a CARS passage and then biochemistry content review. So lots of biochem today. Okay, I am about to hop on Zoom for my biochemistry class. Uh, my school is doing in-person classes, but we just have to wear a mask and sit every other seat. But luckily with biochemistry, we have enough seats for everybody. Um, the reason it's online today is because my professor isn't feeling 100%, so it's better to be safe and we're doing it over Zoom. Alright guys, it's now 11.45. I did my biochem lecture and then I did a few notes afterwards and like a little quiz we had. So now I'm probably going to review for, I'll probably set a timer for like 25 minutes to get some review done and just so that that is ingrained in my brain if it doesn't take me that long i will probably preview what we're going over in the micro today just finished eating lunch after I studied um or after I studied biochem and looked over my micro um but before my micro class starts I wanted to kind of show you guys um my like schedule that I created so here is my hourly schedule I created I just downloaded a template on google docs and then I'm able to fill it out I put certain things um, I can just do in Google Docs and then when I print it off and then I just add um, my own things. Um, I just keep a to-do list, running to-do list kind of thing over here. And then I also have monthly calendars and here's for next week. So far, I haven't really added anything to that. I'll do that probably this weekend. 
and then this is kind of it's just a normal journal but i just created a little spread to do my weekly assignments and whatnot i just highlight things when they're due that way i can cross them off and they stick out to me but yeah usually student athletes at my school get a planner but i guess we just didn't get them this year so i just kind of have a bullet journal but it's not doesn't have bullets i just fill it out it's really basic and then I just highlight things that are due on the day that they're due so that um, they stand out to me. So yeah, that's kind of how I stay organized. Okay, hello, it is currently 4.30. Um, I kind of got off on a side tangent cleaning out some of my old school papers, which reminds me, pro tip, always keep your like worksheets or quizzes and exams that professors hand back to you because it is so nice when an upperclassman, this is what we do on my hockey team, has the materials that they can give to you and it helps you study so much because a lot of the times you don't know how a professor is gonna test you or anything so it is very helpful. But anyways, I'm going to get back to work and start setting for the MCAT again because I don't really have any homework due any time soon so I'm pretty pretty caught up so that's what I'll be doing. Okay guys I just wanted to include a segment about why you should wear a mask so I wanted to um, first educate you guys about what the CDC says currently. Um, this is updated as of July 31st. So um, it says the easiest way to prevent you being infected is to prevent exposure to the virus, which I guess we should all know. Um, so what the CDC recommends is washing your hands, staying six feet from infected people or other people in public, um, wear a mask, and a mask is not a substitute for being six feet away from somebody. Even though you're wearing a mask, you should not go within six feet of someone who is infected or someone in public. Um, and to cover your cough or sneeze and disinfect frequently touched surfaces. A mask protects other people from you because there's been many cases where people have been asymptomatic or shown very little symptoms. So you don't know if you could be a carrier of COVID. Um, and since I'm a scientist, I wanted to include something from a scientific study. So um, Wang et al. says, daily face-to-face -face talk, breathing, cough, and sneezing may result in droplet transmission from, re from the respiratory tract. A droplet can further form aerosols, which are able to spread to a wider range with the air currents and survive for a longer time in the environment. For example, a confirmed case took a bus for two hours, which led to the infections of seven people, and there was no direct contact among them, implying the possibility of aerosol transmission. So if the person on the bus were to have been wearing a mask, the aerosol transmission would have not occurred because it would have been held in the mask. And lastly, I just wanted to say that if more people decide to wear a mask and reduce the spread of COVID, then we'll be able to return to normalcy more. And I'm a college student, so I want to be able to go hang out with my friends and return to normalcy and live a normal life and not have to miss out on the opportunities that I am currently missing out on. So please just wear your mask. All right, I'm gonna end the video here. I did get some content review done, but then I started to get tired and hungry. So I had some dinner and I needed a break from school and studying. So then I started edi editing this vlog. Now I'm just gonna continue studying. Yeah, not much exciting stuff happening in my life right now. Before I go, I just wanted to briefly explain that Due to COVID, we are on decreased capacity. In the mornings on Fridays, I would normally have a biochemistry lecture. And then in the afternoons, I would be online for micro and world religions. So it's definitely tricky to get used to. And it's honestly kind of stressful because I'm 
always wondering if my class is in person or online. I just finished my first week, so I'm sure I'll get used to it. But my dad's one critique to my last video was to remind you guys to like and subscribe. So like and subscribe. Closing up videos is so awkward. So I'll see you guys in the next video. And until then, keep working hard and take care of yourselves. Bye.